Hello, this is Anina and you're watching Naina Anina Hub. So today we are going to take the chapter Digestion and Absorption and we are going to cover all the points in this chapter. So do see this video till the end and you'll be completing all the points coming from this lesson. So the chapter Digestion and Absorption, the first is so we see about a scientist Alphonse Cotti. And he is the one who discovered the organ of Corti, which is a structure located on, uh, on the basilar membrane of the cochlea, which has hair cells that converts vibrations into Im nerve impulses. Okay, so going to the next point from the chapter, digestion. digestion. It is the conversion of complex food substances into simple absorber forms by mechanical and biochemical methods. Then, what is elementary canal? You know, the food passes through this elementary canal throughout and the posterior opening of this elementary canal is through the mouth and it leads to the buccal cavity or the oral cavity. Now, the posterior end is opening through anus and what is thecodol? Thecodol is nothing but when the tooth is embedded into the socket of jaw bones, this type of attachment is called as thecodol. Now, what is diffeodon dentition? Diffeodon dentition is nothing. It is the two sets of teeth that uh, happens in a lifetime. In mammals, yeah, in, that is the temporary teeth or the milk teeth or the deciduous teeth and the, it, uh, there is one more type of teeth that is the permanent or adult teeth that comes later phase uh, in the later phase of the um, life or growth. So coming into the next point, it is the heterodon type of dentition. It is nothing but the four types of teeth present in humans, that is the, not only in humans, in mammals. That is the incisors, canines, premolars and molars where the incisors are represented by capital I, canines in capital C, premolars in capital P and M and molars as capital M. So next is the dental formula. It is nothing but the arrangement of teeth in each half of the upper and lower jaw as it is represented as I is to C is to P M is to M. In child, the dental formula is 2 is to 1 is to 0 is to 2 by 2 is to 1 is to 0 is to 2. Where the children doesn't have premolars. Do note that it is an entrance question. Then the total number of child teeth is 20. And in adult, the dental formula is 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 3 by 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 3. And the total number of adult teeth is 32 in number. The hard chewing surface of the teeth is made up of enamel and it helps in the mastification of the food means mixing up of the food. Then the frenulum is the part with a uh, part of attachment of the tongue to the floor of the oral cavity. Papillaries are small projections on the upper surface of the tongue and papillae contains small taste buds on it. Moving into the next point is the elementary canal. The elementary canal opens with the mouth then goes to the buccal cavity of the oral cavity then into the pharynx and pharynx is the common passage for food and air and the esophagus and trachea opens into this pharynx. Then comes the esophagus, then comes the stomach. The stomach contains three parts that is the cardiac. Cardiac comes about in the center and above the cardiac, a small projected region is there. And this is called the fundic region. Then uh, towards the end of the stomach is the pylori and then comes to the small intestine starting with the duodenum, then the jejunum and then the ileum and into the large intestine it again contains three parts the cecum, colon, rectum and layers to the anus. Then uh, as I said pharynx is a common passage for food and air. Glottis, it is the opening of the windpipe and epiglottis is a cartilaginous flap that prevent, prevents the entry of food into glottis. Then comes the esophagus, it is posteriorly extended piercing the diaphragm to the stomach. Then the east, uh, gastroesophagus spinder helps in uh, the muscle. Uh, it is a muscular spinder and it regulates the opening of esophagus into the stomach. Now, stomach. Stomach is a J-shaped organ on the upper left portion of the abdominal cavity, and the pyloric opens into the duodenum of the small intestine. And pyloric spinder is a spinder that present between stomach and duodenum. Now comes the small intestine. Small intestine has the duodenum which is u-shaped then the jejunum which is highly called middle portion then comes the ileum which opens into the large intestine large intestine the cecum is the first portion and it has a small blind sac that hosts symbiotic microorganisms the vermiform appendix is also is the same this uh, small blind sac is called the vermiform 
form appendix and it is a narrow tubular finger like projection in the cecum which is a vestigial organ. Colon, it has three parts, the ascending colon, the transverse colon, the descending colon. The descending colon opens into the rectum, then to the anus. The four, uh, the wall layer, the four wall layers of the alimentary canal is the serosa, muscularis, submucosa and mucosa. Coming into the serosa, it is made up of thin mesothelium and, and connective tissues. And this mesothelium is called as the epithelium of visceral organs. And it is the outermost layer. See, this is the serosa outermost layer and then comes the muscularis which is made up of smooth muscles. The muscularis is made up of smooth muscles and the inner, inner towards the inner side it has circular uh, and towards the inner side it has uh, uh, circular cells and towards the outside outer side it has longitudinal cells. Then uh, some regions ha also have some oblique muscle layers too in muscularis. Then coming into the inner portion is the submucosa. See, this is the submucosal layer and it is made up of loose connective tissues and it also contains nerves and some bloods and lymph vessels and the duodenal glands are also present in submucosa. Then comes the mucosa and it is the innermost lining of the elementary canal and that the goblet cells are here which secrete the mucus the, and it forms the gastric, it also has the gastric glands uh, in the stomach region and uh, in the fo it forms crypts in between the base of the villi. See, this is a crypt called and this uh, base of the villi and in the uh, and it's called the crypts of Liverpool. Okay, then the irregular folds in the stomach uh, of the mucosal layer is called the rugae. Then in the finger-like projections in small intestine is called the villi and villis have network of Capillaries and lymph vessels. See, this is the lacteals, uh, lymph vessels uh, called the lacteals. Okay, network of capillaries and large lymph vessels called the lacteals. And here is the villi has numerous microscopic projections called microvilli. In this picture, you can see that, and it uh, that gives a brush bordered structure. Okay. Then comes the digestive glands. There are three types of digestive glands. That is the salivary glands, the liver, and the pancreas. Salivary gland has three pairs present outside the buccal cavity and it pours the saliva juice into the buccal cavity. Okay, so the parotid gland is the cheek gland. See, this is the parotid gland. Then, uh, then comes the submaxillary or submandibula which is coming to the lower jaw. See, this is the submandibular gland. Then comes the sublingual. It is below the tongue. Okay, include thanks for watching do subscribe to my channel if you like this do come give me a comment too so that i to get uh, impressed uh, it makes me to do more videos so bye bye thank